Will 10,000 end crystals kill a warden? Or what will happen if you feed a panda TNT? And today, I'll be testing 40 Minecraft experiments. Which dripstone will kill these villagers? A huge one or a small one? When dropping the big one, the villager survives. But dropping the small one, the villager dies. Turtle eggs are very fragile blocks. But will an anvil break one? When you drop the anvil on it, the egg breaks the anvil. How about lava? For some reason, the lava doesn't even touch the egg. But if you put a chicken on it, the egg breaks. If I spawn a bunch of bedrock in the end, will it stop the ender dragon? For some reason, the ender dragon just phases through the bedrock, and he will just perch on top of it. But will he go through nether portal blocks? Sadly, he just breaks through them. What is faster, a netherite pickaxe or an efficiency 5 wooden pickaxe? If we put them side by side, the wooden pickaxe actually wins. But I think you should still use a netherite pickaxe. We all know you can feed pandas bamboo, but by using commands, you can spawn pandas eating different items. So what will happen if they eat TNT? Sadly, the panda doesn't like it. I guess it was too spicy. When you shoot an arrow at an enderman, they'll just teleport away. But what if there's nowhere to teleport? In a void only world, by dropping a bunch of arrows, the enderman still manages to dodge all of them. Ender pearls can teleport you, but what will happen if you throw an ender pearl and enter the nether at the same time? Sadly, the ender pearl doesn't teleport you back. But when you go back to the overworld, you'll just get teleported. If you name a mob Dinnerbone, they will turn upside down. But what will happen if you breed two mobs named Dinnerbone? Will the baby be upside down? No, the baby isn't upside down. Now he has to live with upside down parents forever. By connecting two end portals like this, and lighting all the frames, except the middle one, will both end portals activate at the same time? But when placing the last eye, only one portal is activated. But if you change the direction of the middle frame, the other portal activates. Minecarts are pretty boring, but by using pistons, slime blocks, and some simple redstone, you can make a minecart wave machine. But we can step this up. By adding more of them, it creates a really sad satisfying wave. What will make these drip leaves close down? Three anvils or a single feather? By putting three anvils, the drip leaf doesn't activate. Somehow, a feather is heavy enough to make it activate. When a fox attacks a mob, they will jump at them. But does the mace's power work if you give one to a fox? Looks like it actually works, because normally a fox will kill a chicken in two hits. I wish we could tame foxes. If you create a wither underwater, will it spawn? For some reason, you can place the skulls, but the wither doesn't spawn. The only way to make it spawn is by creating an air pocket. If you name a sheep Jeb underscore, it'll turn rainbow. But what happens if you shear it? Will you get rainbow wool or a random colored wool? But instead, you just get the sheep's original wool color. We all know the warden is very strong, but end crystals are stronger, being able to one-shot you with full netherite armor. So can 10,000 end crystals kill a warden? When exploding the crystals, the warden actually survives. A lot of blocks in Minecraft have holes in them. But can you shoot an arrow through the holes? Well, it doesn't work for doors, trap doors, or fences. But somehow you can shoot arrows through honey blocks. What will happen if you cross two nether portals? Well, both of them activate at the same time. But sadly, only one portal activates. Can one pixel of water save you from fall damage? By placing two chests like this, this can leave a one pixel gap. But when falling, you actually survive. This also works for many other MLG blocks like cobwebs. Will the slow falling effect work with a mace? I mean, they're technically still falling, so it should work. But sadly, this doesn't work. I guess you have to take risks with the mace. How are these items floating? Well, if you put items in a hole and fill it up with blocks, the items will float up to the surface. So by placing a dispenser pointing upwards and then placing glass above it, when the items are dispensed, they will float upwards. If slow falling didn't work for the mace, will using an elytra work? It does work. I guess the mace and the light are the new meta? How high can a wind charge launch you? By just using one wind charge, you can launch up over 8 blocks. By using dispensers, you can launch up around 50 blocks. But that doesn't even come close. By trapping a bunch of mobs and giving them wind burst, you can launch up over 1000 blocks. This is a village, and this is 3800 anvils. And I'll be committing mass murder in Minecraft. So let's see if Timmy can survive. The iron golem survived, and it looks like Timmy survived as well. Endermen hate water, and they will try to avoid it at all costs. 
But will they take damage in cauldron water? For some reason, when you put an enderman in it, he doesn't take any damage. But they will take damage in one pixel of water. End portals are very strong. If you place bedrock and light the portal, the bedrock gets destroyed. But what will happen if villagers are sleeping in the portal? Will they get deleted? When you light the portal, the villagers disappear, but they'll just get teleported to the end. Totems of undying are really useful items. But what will happen if you give one to a zombie? When you kill the zombie, the totem surprisingly saves him. This is a 1000 skeletons, and this is a shield. If all skeletons shoot at once, will the shield survive? But sadly, the shield just instantly breaks. Knockback 2 is already good enough, but by using commands, you can give yourself a knockback 255 sword. This knockback is so powerful, it makes mobs disappear. Snowballs don't do damage normally, but if you throw them through fire, they can do damage. So by spawning a bunch of snow golems and putting soul fire, they can literally laser beam mobs. When you kill a mob next to a skulk catalyst, XP will turn into skulk. By spawning and killing a bunch of ravagers, the whole world will slowly get infected with the skulk. By creating a dirt only world and placing down grass and mycelium, and if you increase the tick speed, the grass and mycelium will go to war to see who will spread the fastest. If you played Minecraft, you've probably tried to sleep in the nether and ended up getting blown up. But villagers can also sleep in beds. So can they sleep in the nether? Surprisingly, they can actually sleep in the nether. You can even cover them in lava and they don't take any damage. We all know if you jump on a dripstone, you'll take damage. But what happens if you reverse it? Somehow you can bang your head on the dripstone and you don't take any damage. What's the fastest way to travel? Well, you might think using a boat on ice or using soul speed with dolphin's grace, but you're wrong. This method doesn't require any redstone. You just have to use an elytra with a reptile trident and you'll travel at an average 200 blocks per second. Will a vindicator run on fire to kill a villager? They'll actually do anything to kill the villager. They will also run across drip leaf and powder snow, but the only thing to stop them is lava. Splash water bottles can put out fires, soul fires, campfires, and candles. Somehow, if you throw water on a torch, it doesn't go out. It will transport diamonds faster, and lay hoppers, or water with ice. Surprisingly, the lay is faster for transporting items. How much water can a bucket hold? Well, this YouTuber built a pyramid from the ground to build height, and one water bucket managed to cover the entire pyramid. Piercing 4 is pretty boring, but you can give yourself a piercing 127 crossbow. So will it pierce 127 mobs? Sadly, it doesn't pierce all the mobs, but it is pretty satisfying killing them. Can you fit under a gap on a fence? By using the scale attribute command, you can make yourself really tiny. But you can't fit under fences and the holes in doors and trap doors, but you can fit under the gap of cauldrons and beds. Want to know how to make a working grappling hook in Minecraft? Click this video to learn some Minecraft facts.